Uh, hello again. Welcome to Busted Knuckles Little Shop of Horrors. What you see here are, is a small sampling of some vintage screwdrivers that one of the readers of my blog sent to me. And I just tickled to death over that. That was very, very nice of you. Um, and just wanted to let you know that I actually do use these things. So, And I've been using them on this. So you may recall that I have been fiddle farting and messing around with this Delta Repulsion Induction Motor off of ye old drill press for a week or so. It's been quite the learning experience, this repulsion induction thing. So before we go any farther, how this thing works is that when you flip it on, the brushes start the motor up. And the motor runs on the brushes until it gets to a certain RPM. And then this thing here, where are you? that they call a shorting necklace that I had to have all apart and fix the spring. You see that's loose on there now, right? That thing was froze up on that shaft tighter than a preacher's prick in a calf's ass. And it took some doing to get that off and get it all cleaned up. And then the spring is all messed up. You can kind of see that spring down in there. It broke in half when I was trying to, you know, straighten it out. So I, I threaded it together and, uh, you know, run the run the wraps around each other until it got tightened up and it, it, it went on there so so I got new bearings put in it you know the ones that they sent me and uh, I don't know how many of you youngins out there ever seen such a thing but yeah you get a hot plate and some motor oil and an old nasty frying pan and you, you get on to Wally World and you get your 99 cent pair of tongs that you don't care about. And, yeah, and then a, a meat thermometer. You put your bearings down in there and you turn this thing on low and watch it carefully. And when it gets to about the top of that, 195, you fish them out of there, shake all the oil off, and you run over and you put them bearings on the shafts. And I'm here to tell you it makes a huge difference. They just went on like butter. It was very nice. And it made a heck of a difference because this thing was making all kinds of racket with them bearings before. So enough with the preliminaries and the foreplay, huh? You want to see what's going on here? Feast your eyes. See that? See how that the brushes started it up, and then you can see that sh shortened collar sh take off and synchronize. Right there. And that's how it's supposed to work, ladies and gentlemen. Amazingly enough, it does. Nobody is more surprised than I am, to tell you the truth. That's how the repulsion induction motor works. That's pretty interesting because I don't never really run into one of these old turds. So there you are, ladies and gentlemen. I win again. Even though I kind of didn't know what I was doing there, I try not to let that stop me. So, appreciate you swinging by, taking an interest in my little projects, when I'm farting around here. And I, at least I can say it keeps me out of the taverns. Well, there's one more thing, yeah. While I was putting this back together, I thought it might be a good idea to hook the ground wire up. Whoever the jackass was that put this wiring in here, stripped that ground wire... And then just left it hanging, flopping in the wind in the back there behind that switch. You know, so it was never grounded. Real nice. So now it's grounded. So it shouldn't zap you in case something happens. And 
I am just tickled that that works. So now I got to put the pulley, going to clean that up a little bit. You know that Marvel's Mystery Oil works really good for cleaning up aluminum? I didn't know that. And then I got to clean up this little cover and repaint it so that, you know, that goes over that thing so you don't get a bunch of crap in there. And then clean this little cover up and that goes on there. I've seen on the internet where people have put little wire wheels on these things so, you know, you can run over and zap something real quick. But, yeah, I ain't going to mess with that. So, yeah, I'm really, really tickled that this thing works because I wasn't so sure, but there it is. I has proof. So, thanks for uh, tuning in, keeping track of what I got going on. Appreciate it very much. And, you know, give it the old thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, whatever it is you do on the YouTube thing. And I will see you later. Bye.